Catch you, it's annoying. Go on, Rob. I don't know how many people between you, but just keep working. Go, 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 go. He's not far behind you. <laughs> go, go, go. Make it count, make it count. You're right behind him now. Oh, go on, Rob. So already a bonus for today, having done one race, 69, number 69 today, uh, was 83 last time. So a uh, few rows forward, which is good. Rob, his first race, he's ranked, uh, gridded at 105. So he's got 36 places to make up uh, before, uh, yeah, he gets up to me. So yeah, I think so that will make him probably four rows back. I think I finished 60th last time. So, um, so I made up about 20 odd, 20 odd places. So uh, yeah. Exciting 69, hopefully I'll be able to do my goal of getting in the uh, the top 50 uh, this time round. Yeah, that'll be, that'll, be, uh, that'll be ace. We're running a little bit late, so I uh, need to go and uh, do a warm up. Um, well, do some uh, laps on the uh, on the course and see what it's like. So today we're down in Graves Park in Sheffield for round six of the Yorkshire League. So I'm going to walk you through the course today. So I just passed over the start finish line and there's a slight rise uphill to the uh, the first corner. As so you see here, we're dropping down uh, into the second corner. So the second corner comes quickly followed by the third corner. Um, it's going to be nice and tight uh, here with well, lots of people going in um, to that corner um, on the first lap. Um, and it's going to string out along this bit nice and fast downhill. Very slippy around into this corner. Um, yeah, and I think a few laps I had to try and get my foot out there and uh, yeah, just to steady myself. Um, and then we're climbing back up again. Yeah, as you can see, lots and lots of uh, corners on slick grass. This made it, yeah, very, very, very hard. Um, it kept just pulling you out, like because I was slightly off camber as well. Some of the corners, and it kept pulling you out towards uh, towards the tape at the side. Um, yeah, you just kind of just. You threw it into the corner, you were just hoping and hoping that you would uh, find some grip at some point. So yeah, now we're into the, uh, the second kind of climb on the lap. So this is now climbing up back up towards the, uh, the start finish area. Yeah, I found this like a great opportunity here to kind of put out some power, uh, get out the saddle especially off the uh, kind of line that everyone else is going on. There's lots of grips. You can kind of get out of the saddle and put some power down. Now turning into the kind of section I really enjoyed. So we're now turning back downhill and there's some really swoopy, swervy kind of uh, swooping uh, kind of corners. Um, yeah, caught quite a few, a number of people out. If you took too much speed through this like section, yeah, you just end up washing out the front wheel if you try to time, uh, turn too tightly. Um, a couple of people did that in front of me in the race. Um, but yeah, if you go just offline as well, you'll find a little bit more grip um, in the kind of longer grass. Yeah, so a few sweeping kind of right and left hand turns. And then this was kind of, you, you could hear you just click up the gears and just, um, yeah, just went pretty much as hard as possibly can, kind of sprinting up this. Even though it was uphill, it felt like it was downhill. You could um, yeah, pick up quite a bit of speed through that section. And um, then yeah, trying to scrub up the speed again before some more kind of like swooping, sweeping uh, right and left turns. Uh, climbing again and then yeah, starting yet yeah, another uh, another descent. So here you can kind of, um, it was quite technical because it was quite slippy off camber corners, um, but yeah, it's really kind of, I, I found this section really, really fun during the race. So yeah, it's probably the most technical part of the course, um, trying to get up and over over these uh, this steep bank. It wasn't, luckily it wasn't too long, so you, uh, yeah, it was like just a couple of pedal strokes and you're pretty much just straight over it, it wasn't too bad. 
So yeah, now on to the uh, the final climb of the uh, of the lap, back up to the start finish, um, and then there's a few more corners, um, and then yeah, across the uh, start finish line. I'm gonna have a look at that corner again. So yeah, it looks like this course kind of quite suits me, even though there's quite a lot of corners, I feel quite confident in them um, and yeah and there's uh, enough space between the corners for me to put a power out and drop people which is uh, which is good I think this is going to be a good one um, uh, yeah just just then I look back at that corner because I feel my l limited amount of knowledge on the experience that corner's going to completely blow out like already in two laps it's going to drag me out like my front end just wants to kind of drag out towards the edge of the, ta of the tape so uh, yeah, I think taking a different line or learning a different line by like going or taking the corner before a little bit differently. Hopefully I'll get a different line through there. I won't, won't have any front wheel washouts. That's not what you want. So uh, the veterans race is underway. So uh, I think it's actually nearly finished. Uh, so start the warm up. We've got half an hour or so until we uh, hit the grid and set off. So yeah, it's gonna do like 20, 25 minutes. We we'll slowly get faster and faster, get the heart rate up couple of sprints open up the legs and then yeah get ready and go oh yeah feeling good feeling good how you feeling George cold at the moment but ready for some uh, for some pain for some pain yeah I think that's probably the best way what do you think of the course it's good it's fast but it's slick yeah and I think it's only gonna get slicker as well I thought the fog was gonna burn off but it hasn't so it's proper cross today but it should be good i think it it suits me for the most part a lot of power a lot of fast stuff mm. uh so we'll find out won't we i might be eating those words in about an hour <laughs> and a half yeah i think it's better than barnold's week which is the last race we did well last race i did yeah um, that was that was a bit of an outlier in terms of technicality as well because yeah. that was just corners 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 there's no like power no no place to put the power down but i think yeah you've got you could, good put the power down for about 15 seconds a lap couldn't yeah. you so yeah, hopefully this one should suit me better as well. So uh, yeah, definitely looking forward to it. And uh, yeah, hopefully I won't be seeing Watson at all for the whole race. If he, if he catches me 30 places down, I've, something seriously has gone wrong. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm all right, nervous. It'll be interesting to see how chaotic it is coming from the back. But... Yeah. No idea where it'll go. <laughs> I might not fall off many times. But in first place, making it six wheel first. So all gridded up, ready to go. Front of the race is up there. About five rows in front. Well, I think more than that, probably about seven rows in front. And then Rob, back there, he's back there. You can see 105 over that way. So he's got a bit of a bit of a work to do to get up to me. How's your race? Awful. Awful. <laughs> too slippery. Too is it? Any any corners to watch out for? Not, not the one just before you go up the hill. Yeah, the one, one before, before that. that. Go, 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 go! He's not fun! 
on, Rob. Make it count, make it count. You're right behind him now. <laughs> Go on, Ryan! <laughs> Go on, Rob. Go on. We're hard now. So we're coming to the finish. And Ryan and Rob are right by each other. All on for a big finish. Also appreciate that I have cycled here. 80k. Don't know how much hillage. But I can't even remember what I was going to say. Oh yeah. And I've been running around so, so much. Okay, that's it. To the finish. Go on, Ryan, right to the end. Big finish, Ryan, go, go, go. I think Ryan went a bit deeper than everybody else. <laughs> and I last bit I did, definitely. Oh, it's not a hangover treating you, Ryan. Oh. Did anybody else have to stop with the dog? No? Yeah, I fell off because that little dog down the bottom corner had to fall in straight. The dog ran out. Tried to avoid it again on my ass. I was on my ass about four times. What well up, mate? So, second, well, third race done. That was hard. That was, that was hard. <laughs> um, I uh, kept looking over my shoulder. I could see Rob just come in after me. But luckily he made a mistake on that last lap and I was able to uh, just about get away. Um, so yeah, I think he's finished one place behind me because I think between us was uh, people who were being lapped or lapping us. Um, but yeah, that was an hard race. Again, heart rate average, pretty much threshold uh, for the whole race. Um, but yeah, like I enjoyed that course. It was like nice. It wasn't too hilly. There was a couple of drags and stuff. Um, but yeah, the corners were pretty good. New tyres on were super super grippy so yeah i thought i had like enough grip and stuff yeah nothing really to report like start got off quite fine managed to kind of move around the um the outside on the first corner um and then yeah kind of dive bombed a few people on the uh i was just trying to like force my way through to try and get up um and then um yeah from there kind of just like settled into my own little rhythm just kind of like looking up and just trying like up the up the road or up the grass and just trying to uh kind of like pick people off i was like i'm just going to try and get to that person just going to get to that person so yeah i was using that uh long drag back up towards the uh, start finish to kind of just like put a lot of as much power down as possible out of the saddle trying to find like the long grass for the grip um and yeah just trying to uh, catch up to people every lap um, and then hang on <laughs> two weeks um the regional championships um so yeah that's the next race over in york and then um where are we next after that and then two weeks after that is tong um so yeah a couple more races left and um, hopefully get over and do one of those races again um in lincolnshire uh, in, i know in lancashire and uh, maybe another race in lincolnshire as well so um i've definitely caught the bug for the cyclocross yeah it's uh, super super hard but so much fun yeah, so that's it for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.